Hi, I'm Joe Flanagan with Acquirent. Um, I'm here with my, my friend Adam Goodman, who is the director of the Center for Leadership at Northwestern University. And uh, Adam and I have gotten to know each other over the years through our connections with our, our beloved Wildcats. Absolutely. And, go Cats. Uh, go Cats. And um, through the Evanston Youth Job Center, which Adam has been the chairman of the board for several years. Mm -hmm. He keeps re we keep recycling them. Um, and we have had Adam come and do some speaking to our team at, uh, at Acquirent and uh, on, on leadership. Mm -hmm. And he's done two different one hour sessions and we come in and talk about it and it's been great. Uh, we've had other business leaders from Evanston come in and they've, they've really enjoyed the speaking. And we're um, here li sitting live on uh, Lake Michigan on uh, Northwestern's campus. Uh, Adam, thanks for taking a couple yeah, minutes. Happy to be here. Um, uh, we talk about leadership, we talk about key ingredients. What, what, are, what are some key ingredients that you find are in great leaders, good leaders, you know? Sure, so one of the things that I see among really effective leaders is actually not the ability to talk, compel, convince. There certainly is an, is an ability around inspiring others, but it tends to come from, uh, first, from a leader's ability to listen and listen carefully um, so that they can understand where people are coming from and then be able to use that information to be able to help them figure out how to inspire their team. Right. People will tell you a lot if you give them an opportunity. We uh, we have five core principles that acquire about first is key in sales is positive attitude. The second is asking good questions. The third yeah. is shutting up and listening. The fourth is understanding your product. And the fifth is grit. I mean, so there's very much some of the overlap with. Yeah, there's there's a really it's a perfect overlap, uh, particularly the piece on grit. It's right. Absolutely, it's hanging in there and just and just moving along. So what do you think? When you think about leadership, you know we're a sales company. Uh, how do you how do you see those? Are, are leaders sales? Are they incapable of being effective leaders? Sales salespeople. Well, you know, as how we've been talking about, yeah, I mean, you know, great leaders are great listeners, and that's why I think that there is an intersection um, between between leadership and sales. Obviously, not everybody who's a salesperson is going to be necessarily a great leader, but I think every great leader who you look at, obviously, they know how to sell an idea. Right. And again, it's our conception tends to be it's about sales through talking, and it's actually sales through listening. Right. Well, you talk about storytelling as well. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, what is, I mean, it falls right into that, right? When you understand where people want to go or where you, you know, when you understand where you have to bring them, how do you t tell that story, right? So what you want to be able to do is, um, you know, facts and figures and data and statistics are, is all really useful. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, but ultimately, at the end of the day, it's not compelling. What is very compelling to people is the ability to tell that story in a way that captures, peop captures people's minds and their hearts and emotions and has them say, this is a huge opportunity. This is what I want to go off and do. This is what I, who I want to go off and be. And I can see myself with this kind of a value proposition. That's what gets people. And it works for leaders and obviously it works for sales. Sure, sure. Uh the parallels are, as you as you, as you talk about it, are very very uh, striking. Um, Catapult, which yeah. is a, a, a company you have, you and a team have taken out of Northwestern, right. which attempts to teach companies how to measure, quantify, use data, to to create leadership. Uh, you know, again, this is one of those things where I, it doesn't make a ton of sense to me because you know, I, as we right. talk about. You know, how, how do you how to form leaders? But how, how do you how do you use data and how do you use systems to to, to help businesses you know, in leadership? Yeah, the idea is that there are a series of tools like 360 assessments, like teamwork assessments. A lot of uh, senior executives now participate in coaching programs, and uh, one of the things that Catapult does is it allows us to be able to capture the information among those relationships, so that we can look, so we can help a leader understand what his or her learning gain is over time. It's the sort of formulation of, I used to think X about leadership, now that I've had this experience or now that I've participated in coaching or now that I've got, gotten this 360 assessment result, now I know this instead about my leadership and here's how I'm going to apply that information going right. forward. That's the that's what Catapult as software enables people to do. And But it's still very much experiential. Absolutely. That's how people learn and change their styles by... Right. by Taking yeah. risk. Exactly. It captures the information from their experiences. Right, right. That's cool, cool. Adam, thank you very much. Yeah, thank it you. It's always that. great to be with you, and uh, thank you for your insights and, and um, uh, 
um, how do we get a hold of you do, um, if we had questions? Absolutely. Just go to uh, just go to the web. Type in Adam Goodman Leadership Northwestern University, and I should pop right up. Great, great. Thanks again. Thank we'll you, talk to yeah. you soon.